a kid, move it all over the country when I was younger. I kind of liked it. But some people don't like change, but this was needed, necessary, and it appears as if they've not hit a grand slam. We won't know that, but they've given themselves a chance to stay in the game. Paul? All right, I'm going to let Steve, our next caller, tell everybody where he is in case he, he doesn't want people to know. But, Steve, you're on the Bet U.S. caller line. Thanks for your call. Yeah, hey, thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, I'm actually, believe it or not, calling from Saudi Arabia. Wow! I, uh, I lived in Texas for 14 years, but I've been working in the oil industry in Saudi for the last eight years. Okay. Saudi um, Arabia. But, uh, I was, I'm yeah. a Beta grad in... Huh? Saudi Arabia, man. We appreciate that. Thank you. Appreciate you being a part of the show. What's up? No problem. Okay. Well, first of all, I really enjoy your show. And uh, I've only dialed in recently because of all the realignment stuff. But uh, you got me hooked, and I'm enjoying it. So I, I really just have um, a few, few thoughts just to share and, and something and a couple and a question. Um, with all the realignment, what it seems like to me right now is our appetite is exceeding our stomach, meaning that there's a big appetite to grow bigger, get stronger, kind of show the uh, football world that the Big 12 is going to be better, you know, and the new Big 12 will be better. And I get that because a lot of pain happened in July and August, right? Um, but what's going on now is that once you get this uh, you know, new conference together, you have to work it and not just work it in football, which is not getting a lot of the uh, attention, but basketball, baseball, and other sports and the amount of travel and, you know, all that. It's just, you know, the, the ideas of California mixing it. I'm with you guys. I don't think that's a good mix. That's putting it into a whole nother state. But when Tony Altimore talked a few days ago about the realignment stuff, I did like his point saying, you want someone out there with, um, you know, UCF in Florida, so maybe USF, and then you want maybe Boise out with BYU, so they have someone in their neighborhood. You know, they're not out there all by themselves. And that's what's hurt uh, West Virginia University is when they joined in the Big 12, no one was really in the neighborhood. You know, the next closest was a long, long ways away. And so you definitely want to pair some people up. And so Cincinnati is somewhat closer to West Virginia, but it's still kind of out there. Now, um, if it does go 16 and say you add the SMU and Memphis and USF and, and Boise, 16 teams is a lot to manage. And you want this conference to kind of stick together and get close. So I, I just would say that I think the 12 is awesome. I think that's a great mix. I do see the strong case for 16. I see the reasons. But I would just say I hope the Big 12 finds ways to tie them together. And the point that Tony made about the Big 10 being tied together with libraries and other kind of resources was a good point. Um, they were, you know, kind of put some glue in there to help hold the Big Ten together. And I really think that that's something that, you know, the Big 12 needs to look at is how do you really try to keep these people together? So those are my thoughts. Hey, yeah, we you, appreciate sir. that. Uh, first of all, where did you live in Texas before you moved? Did we lose uh, him? Mom oh. and dad's in the Air Force who were in uh, Austin in the 70s for three years at Berkshire Air Base. All right. Uh -huh. And then I came episode. back and went to college in Texas starting in the fall of 89 at uh, uh, Texas State. Mm -hmm. And then I got a master's from Baylor, and then I got an MBA from SMU. Okay. So I, I stayed in Texas from 89 to 2000. Hey, man, right. uh, we appreciate you so much. Thank you. Uh, and I, I'm being clueless here. What is the time right now in Saudi Arabia? I can look on my phone. What's the time? <laughs> 11.32 p.m. in Jeddah. Oh, wow. yeah, yeah, there, there we, we go. go. You need to go to sleep or you're yeah. going to lose your curfew no, rights. It, we're, we're essentially uh, his Tonight Show. No, that's that, we are. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. And while you did that and while you called in, we had somebody else who called in uh, on the chat room that listens to us. I think Michael from Iceland. Oh, uh, on the chat room. Good deal. God, wow. I mean, I'm getting goosebumps. Cool. We appreciate it. Yeah. Hey, stay in touch with us. We hope to hear from you again, okay? Yeah, my uh, my name is Yak. I go by Yak Attack. So when you see that comment. Oh, yeah, me. you're on okay. there. Yep, okay, okay. we got it. Right. Thanks, Thanks, Yak. Appreciate right, your attack. Man. Appreciate your time. Yeah, appreciate that. And, uh, yeah, I think I think you're right. They got to be cautious of just, you know, bringing in teams and then just like, all right, go play now. Like, there does need to be some some – calculated movement as far as how it starts how it sets up how teams are introduced how it works in other sports and i think that's probably a lot of what they're trying to figure out right now you know uh the last few weeks were about crossing t's dotting i's and securing teams and i think now everybody kind of knows what the deal is and knows what to expect at least those who have been officially invited the boise smu um ucf usf contingent i mean that's still 
that's not anything official. That's kind of the, the bubbling up that's going yeah. on behind the scenes right now. But we do know there's four officially being introduced. Now, there is still the issue of you don't know when Oklahoma and Texas are leaving. That would be helpful knowledge mm-hmm. to have to know when to kind of start the ball rolling. But, yeah, I think they're probably taking care of a lot of that. And I'm with you. I think there's 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 – Good argument for 16. Beyond that, I think, is just insanity. And, and we've explained why I, no, a few times. I, I think yeah. 16 is the, is the ceiling. And that's uh, even kind gotta, of stretching it a little bit. Yeah, you know? and, and they got to figure out, again, how they go from 12 to 14, Boise, Memphis, and then, of course, if they add both SMU and South Florida, USF, uh, UC, USF, I get USF a, as well. But there are a lot of better regional rivalries no, now. There's no. a lot better to, to choose from. I mean, I know West Virginia is still kind of out on an island a little bit, even with Cincinnati and uh, UCF joining. But, um, you know, there, there's there's a lot better geographic rivalries and potential rivalries, I think, uh, with this new group. Yeah. Michael Harry Klein, Brigham Young is what keeps the Big 12 a power five. Uh, that's debatable, but but I it doesn't hurt them. That's for sure. It, it's adding nice a nice little chip to the uh, poker there's, table. There, but there is, I mean, I think to his point, yeah, there's a reason why they were one of the oh, first no. ones you call. I would think that, yeah, uh, yeah no question. I, I I agree. Not without them, it'd be okay. With them, it makes them even better. No doubt about it. Without them, it's a glorified AAC. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, that's yeah, a right. great point. Yeah. All right.